What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy, Tech Raj, and I'm back with another video where we're going to discuss what exactly EA is doing right now. So it's Tuesday. On Tuesday, EA Sports usually announces the final edition players that they're going to be releasing on Wednesday. And as you can see by the title of the video and the <laughs> image on your screen, this week is actually going to be right outside linebacker who plays for the Detroit Lions, your boy DeAndre Levy. So let's get into the other cards that are going to be released from suckiest to best. And the first one is Isaiah Crowell. Uh, so Isaiah Crowell yeah, plays for the Cleveland Browns. He's 5'11". This card's going to have 94 speed, 93 agility, 84 awareness, 95 acceleration, 94 carry. 88 ball carry vision and 85 elusiveness with the 94 truck for 92 overall this is a pretty solid card i mean you're talking about in the 90s through and throughout but like we talked about last week when you get front audition cards like this they're going to be really expensive when they come out tomorrow and i think heading into the weekend however there's a caveat i don't really think people are tripping over themselves to go out and get themselves a 99 overall deandre levy unless you're a lions fan uh then coming up next we got uh, is it Kaleshi? Osemele? I looked at that and my first thought was Khaleesi. Uh, Khaleesi of, of Game of Thrones fame, so I thought that was pretty funny. But anyway, uh, your boy Osemele, or Kaleshi, I'm gonna stop saying that because I'm butchering, I know I am. And frankly, I don't really care. But anyway, uh, left guard for the Baltimore Ravens, he's 6'5", 96 strength, 93 pass block, 95 run block, and then uh, 82 awareness with a 65 speed, a 71 agility, and an 88 impact block. Uh, two cards in, and to be honest with you, I'm falling asleep just making this video. And then we got cornerback for the Pittsburgh Steelers, 94 overall, William Gay. He has 94 speed, 95 acceleration, 82 awareness, 97 agility, 94 man coverage, 97 zone, 93 press, and 92 play rec. That's a pretty solid card for 94 overall, man. I know he's not that tall, but that that looks pretty that looks pretty good for kind of where he's at. And once again, if these guys were priced like a regular 94 overall or like what their overall states, I would be really excited about these cards because listen, we all love the Ultimate Legend cards, those 99 overalls, but I love really getting those cards that not a lot of people have that really play that well because frankly, and what I've learned is the difference between a 99 overall and anywhere like between like a 95 and 96 overall, unless we're talking about a boss card. I don't really see a huge difference. All right, moving right along, we got Par Paul Warlow, um, middle linebacker from the Atlanta Falcons. He's actually 6'1", 91 speed, 87 awareness, 98 tackle, which is awesome, 98 pursuit, 91 block check, um, 93 play rec, 88 strength, and then 86 zone coverage. I want to see what the hit power is. I want to see what the catch is, to be honest with you. And I also want to see what the jump is to really grade this card. But at 95 overall, pretty good. A pretty good card there. Uh, and then, as we might on, finally, it's going to be right outside linebacker DeAndre Levy. If you complete the set, you put the four gold badges in, and then you also do the solo challenge that's available today, you'll get this card. And it's 93 speed, 88 strength, 99 tackle, 99 pursuit, 96 block shed, 96 acceleration, 98 play, play rec, 92 zone coverage. So pretty solid there, but to be honest with you, if you saw me drooling over the James Harrison card uh, that was released, the Ultimate Legend James Harrison card, I'd rather take that one, and it's still not that expensive. I don't know how much completing the set's gonna be, but it can't be that expensive, because when you think about the last three weeks what we've had, what have we had? We had Romo, we had Demarius Thomas, we had Andrew Luck, who I had a lot of fun with. Those were heavily sought after cards because I think those teams specifically and those players are very popular and a lot of people want to go after them. I, I don't think you're going to see me making any videos this weekend when I'm like, yo, I just copped that new 99 overall DeAndre Levy. Go out and check the gameplay that I'm posting. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. And to be honest with you, with these kind of stats, there's nothing here that really blows my mind. Now, admittedly so, EA Sports did say that this week they were focusing on players that may have not got a lot of notoriety as far as having the big names or having the spotlight, but they still did very well. And that's cool and everything, but I'm sorry. I'm as disappointed with this set of Final Edition players as I was with watching the Ballers premiere on Sunday night. Uh, but in the conversation below, let me know, am I tripping? Uh, 
are these players worth it? We just got a game changer bundle, which is one of my favorite bundles as far as packs go. And the bundle topper is a final edition player and uh, one of these and then four gold badges. I think that sucks. Imagine getting a bundle and then the bundle top of being like one of these 92 overalls or 93 overall. I'd be very, very disappointed. And to be honest, I'm not excited to go out and complete this. Is there anybody out there that wants me to complete this set? Also, what did you think about HBO's uh, new series Ballers with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? I gotta be honest with you, I was so hyped for that and I watched it and it was pretty weak. But anyway, Go ahead and like if you're liking the Madden Ultimate Team content uh, in the comment section below. Once again, give me your opinions on these cards as well as that Ballers episode. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, guys. And tomorrow, I got some really exciting channel news. So, so check that out tomorrow. And most importantly, guys, have a great day. 24-hour Ultimate Team players. The one everybody's excited about is Steve Atwater, and I'm showing you this because these are the kind of hits that he would put on people that made him a legend. And you may be too young to realize that, but he's always been one of my favorite players. Third quarter, second and 13. I call the post route up top against the man defense, and Pierre Garcon with his first catch of the game.